Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where we explore iconic landmarks from around the world. Today, we're delving into the fascinating history of Big Ben, the iconic clock tower in the heart of London. Join us as we uncover the secrets behind its timeless architecture and the intriguing stories it has witnessed over the years. If you're captivated by the allure of historical landmarks, you're in the right place. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest adventures and explorations. Big Ben is the nickname for the Great Bell of the Clock at the north end of the Palace of Westminster in London, although it is often extended to refer also to the clock and the clock tower. The tower was completed in 1859 and stands at 96 meters, 315 feet, tall, making it an iconic symbol of the United Kingdom and a prominent feature of the London skyline. The clock mechanism itself is famous for its reliability and has rarely stopped, being designed by the lawyer and amateur horologist Edmund Beckett Dennison. Big Ben's chimes have become culturally significant in the UK, symbolizing time and stability, and are broadcast live by the BBC at significant moments and daily on the radio. The tower was renamed the Elizabeth Tower in 2012 in honor of Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee, but the bell inside continues to be known as Big Ben. To visit Big Ben in London, start by heading to the city's central area, specifically to the north end of the Palace of Westminster, where the landmark is located. The easiest way to get there is by using London's extensive public transport system. The nearest underground station is Westminster, served by the Jubilee, District, and Circle lines. Upon exiting Westminster Station, Big Ben is just a short walk away, visible as soon as you step outside. For those preferring buses, numerous routes pass nearby, including numbers 11, 24, 148, 211, and 453, among others. Additionally, for a scenic approach, consider taking a riverboat service along the Thames and disembark at Westminster Pier, which is a mere stone's throw from Big Ben and offers a stunning view of the tower from the river. Big Ben's history dates back to 1859 when it was completed as part of Charles Barry's design for a new palace after the old Palace of Westminster was destroyed by fire in 1834. The name, Big Ben, originally referred only to the Great Bell, which weighs approximately 13.5 tons and was cast in 1858 at the Whitechapel Bell Foundry. The clock tower, part of the Houses of Parliament, was designed in a Gothic revival style by Augustus Pugin and stands 96 meters, 315 feet, tall. Despite being over 160 years old, the clock mechanism, a masterpiece of 19th century engineering designed by Edmund Beckett Dennison, is known for its accuracy and reliability. Big Ben has become an enduring symbol of the United Kingdom and London, playing a significant role in cultural events and even surviving the bombings of the Second World War largely unscathed. Big Ben is famous primarily as an iconic symbol of London and the United Kingdom, instantly recognizable around the world for its distinctive appearance and historical significance. Its clock is renowned for its accuracy and the reliability of its chimes, which have been marking the hour with almost unerring precision since 1859. The tower's Gothic Revival architecture, designed by Augustus Pugin, is a masterpiece and represents a significant period in British architectural history. Big Ben has also played a key role in British cultural life, featuring in countless films, artworks, and media, symbolizing London much like the Eiffel Tower does for Paris. Additionally, its chimes have a deep cultural resonance, being broadcast internationally through radio and television, particularly in times of national celebration or mourning, further cementing its status as a cultural and historical emblem. Big Ben, referring specifically to the clock tower at the north end of the Palace of Westminster in London, stands impressively tall at 96 meters, 315 feet. The tower houses a four-faced clock, each of its dials measuring 7 meters, 23 feet, in diameter, making them easily visible from a considerable distance. The minute hands on each clock face are 4.2 meters, nearly 14 feet, long, while the hour hands are shorter at 2.7 meters, about 9 feet. The Great Bell, known as Big Ben, is significant in size, weighing approximately 13.5 tons, and is 2.2 meters, 7 feet 2 inches, tall with a diameter of 2.7 meters, 8 feet 8 inches. The tower's scale and the size of its clock and bell contribute to its status as an iconic landmark, easily recognizable and admired for its grandeur. 
Big Ben is not the name of the clock tower itself but actually refers to the great bell inside the tower, which weighs a massive 13.5 tons and was named after Sir Benjamin Hall, who oversaw its installation. The clock tower, commonly known as Big Ben, was officially renamed the Elizabeth Tower in 2012 in honor of Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee, celebrating her 60-year reign. Despite common belief, the four clock faces of Big Ben are not made of glass, but are composed of opal panels, illuminated from within the tower, making the clock visible at night. Big Ben's timekeeping is incredibly precise, with its pendulum regulated by a stack of coins, adding or removing a penny will change the clock speed by 0.4 seconds per day. During World War II, in 1941, the clock faces of Big Ben were darkened to comply with blackout regulations, but the clock continued to chime, offering reassurance and symbolizing resilience during hard times. Big Ben, the great bell within the Elizabeth Tower at the Palace of Westminster, traditionally chimes every hour, marking the time with its distinctive deep tone. In addition to the hourly chimes, there are smaller bells that produce quarter-hour chimes, playing the melody of the Westminster Quarters. These quarter bells chime every 15 minutes, with a single chime at the quarter past, two chimes at the half past, three at the quarter two, and four chimes just before the hour, followed by the striking of Big Ben itself. The clock mechanism is so precise that the first chime of Big Ben occurs within one second of the hour. However, as of my last update in April 2023, it's worth noting that there have been periods when the chimes were silenced for maintenance or restoration work, though these are exceptions to its regular chiming schedule. Tickets for the tour are £25 for adults and £10 for children aged 11 to 17. Visitors will be able to book a maximum of 8 tickets per person, depending on availability. Visitors must be aged 11 and over and be comfortable climbing 334 steps and experiencing high noise levels from the clock mechanism and bells, earplugs will be provided. The total tour duration is 90 minutes and toilet facilities are available at the beginning and end of the tour only. Due to the constraints of the tower, accessible tours including step-free access are not currently available. Located in the heart of London, Big Ben is surrounded by a plethora of famous attractions. Right next to Big Ben is the majestic Palace of Westminster, home to the Houses of Parliament, a stunning example of Gothic Revival architecture and a hub of British political life. Just a short walk across the River Thames lies the London Eye, offering panoramic views of the city from its giant observation wheel. Nearby, Westminster Abbey stands as a significant religious and historical site, known for its stunning Gothic architecture and as the location for royal coronations and weddings. Additionally, just a stroll away is Downing Street, the famous location of the Prime Minister's official residence, adding to the area's political significance. The best time to visit Big Ben, particularly for sightseeing and photography, is either early in the morning or later in the afternoon. Morning visits allow you to avoid the larger crowds that typically gather around midday, providing a more peaceful experience. Late afternoon or early evening offers the chance to see the tower beautifully illuminated, creating a stunning backdrop for photographs. Additionally, visiting on a clear day is ideal for the best views, though London's unpredictable weather can add a unique charm at any time. It's also worth considering visiting during the parliamentary sessions, as you might catch a glimpse of political activities in the surrounding area. Big Ben is undoubtedly worth visiting, as it's not only an iconic symbol of London but also a masterpiece of architectural and engineering skill. Its historical significance and striking presence in the London skyline make it a must-see for anyone interested in culture, history, and architecture. Additionally, its proximity to other notable attractions like the Houses of Parliament, Westminster Abbey, and the London Eye adds to its appeal, making it a key part of any London sightseeing itinerary. And that wraps up our journey around the magnificent Big Ben, one of London's most iconic landmarks with a rich history and stunning architecture. We hope you enjoyed exploring this timeless symbol of the UK with us. If you loved learning about Big Ben and want more fascinating insights into world-famous landmarks, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting travel content and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next adventure.